Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my website for the latest posts, get the greatest tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. All right, today before we get into our video, I wanted to give a great big shout out to all of the subscribers out there that have been recently joining and uh, saw some amazing comments on the last video and some likes, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the support and what I'm trying to do here. If you're not a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button and then also click on the bell notifications so you get it delivered directly to your inbox as soon as the next video is released. All right, today is a user requested video from a little while ago. Uh, the user wanted to do a radar chart, but instead of having numbers as the radar chart axis, they wanted to have letter, uh, words or values or letters. Uh, and uh, kind of a tricky technique, figured out how to do it, so I thought I would share it. Uh, it's a really cool technique. And uh, um, if you'll notice, when you go create, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go create a radar chart of just some sample data, you will notice that the radar axis starts at zero in the center and goes to your largest value that you have within the data range. So in this case, zero to five, uh, but the user wanted to put text like uh, the worst, good, better, best. Uh, I think they had A, B, C, D, E, uh, but I uh, made up my own sample data. So let me show you that technique. First off, what you wanna do is create your radar chart. So in this case, I'm gonna highlight my data from cell A1 over to D6 going to go up to my insert ribbon, going to click on other charts in Excel 2010, and I'm going to click on the radar chart button. Let me move this over so that you can see it in relation to the data. Uh, now, um, what we have is our radar charts created, but we have our numbers as our radar at chart axis, and we want to change that to the value labels um, that we have created over here. So we've created a range of labels, um, best to worst, um, and you'll notice I also have a span of data from 1 to 11. Now let me tell you what I did there. So our greatest number is 5 within our entire chart range. So that you have to take into account in doing this technique. You need to double the largest number and add 1. So 5 times 2 is 10. And I need to add one more. And what that represents is we're going to create a bar chart of our category labels. And so the bar chart is going to have one, two, three, four, five for this upper part. It's going to have five below. And we need one for the center or the zero point as well. So once again, you need to create um, a range of 11. Uh, you don't have to put in these values. I find it's easier putting in values initially. Then we will delete or make these zero when we're complete with our techniques to get rid of those on our chart. So now that we've created our text labels, I want to highlight this range all the way down to our 11th row, even though I've got blanks in here for category labels. And what I want to do is do a control C to copy, or I can go up to my home ribbon and click on copy. What you want to do is click anywhere in your chart. You want to go up to your paste and do paste special. You can do um, Alt E S I think is also paste special is how I typically do it. And only will you ever see this dialog box on charts. So is the paste special for charts only? Probably never seen it um, if you haven't tried some techniques like this before. Um, but we wanna add cells as new series. We wanna have Y values in columns and our category X access labels are in the first column. So those, uh, we wanna have these two radar, radar radio buttons checked and we wanna have this checkbox categories, X labels in first columns and click on OK. Now it will make this uh, really cool looking chart here, but you'll notice that our values of what we started with are now not all our way around. That's because it's charting this as a new series with a lot of blank values for those extra six points. Do not worry, we're gonna move this all to the second axis and fix it right away. So what I want you to do is um, select um, that series, uh, the new series four that we have in there. If you double click on it, it's kind of hard to do. Sometimes you only get a data point. You'll notice it says format data point dialog box. You can keep this open and then just try and select the series again. And you'll notice it says format data series. Additionally, you can click on your chart. You can go up to the layout ribbon over in your current selection area. You can find the series that is called series four and select it that way. Um, and then you can click on the button right below that current selection series for uh, pick list and you will get the format data series dialog box. Now what we want to do is we want to move this to the secondary axis and uh, let's go ahead and click on close and see what we got. So we have it on our secondary axis. Still it's starting to look worse 
But since I still have that series selected, I want to go up to my design ribbon. I want to go over to the type in the and change my chart type. I want to select a bar chart and I want to select a regular bar chart, a clustered bar chart and click on OK. Kind of see in the background our radar chart is back to how it was, but we have overlaid a bar chart on top of it. Now um, our category label axis, um, instead of uh, what we we're going to replace the zero through five with is over here on the right. Don't worry, we'll move that to the center. And But the first thing we need to do is we need to flip it upside down. Um, so go ahead and click on the chart, then double click on that vertical secondary axis. You will get the format access dialog box and we want to change categories in reverse order. So now you can see over on the right hand side, best ever is number five, pretty good is equal to the four, uh, better and so on and so forth. However, since this is a bar chart, you'll notice they do not line up exactly with the number data points because they're in the center of the categories. To fix that, go back to either uh, you can uh, go, you still have the dialog box open or double click on that vertical secondary axis. You have your access options and we want to position access on tick marks and we might as well go ahead and take tick mark type to none. Um, finally, there is one other thing. There is a vertical line that is going to finalize when we do this that you'll see running right through your radar chart. It is from the vertical axis and we want to just change that line color on our format of vertical secondary axis to no line and click on close. So now our best ever category now matches up with number five. Um, pretty good matches up with number four. So you can see we're uh, in alignment. We're just not in alignment. We're in alignment vertically. We're not in alignment horizontally. To do that, double click on the horizontal secondary axis to bring up the format access dialog box. Change minimum uh, value to zero. Our maximum value for this axis, we want to just make it a one. Um, and then also down below, uh, we want to choose vertical axis crosses, choose access value of 0.5. So we just want it to be right in the center between zero and one and click on close. You will now notice that best ever is dead center. It's overlapping our number five, pretty good is overlapping four, so on and so forth. Now we no longer need this secondary horizontal axis, so you can click on it and hit your delete key on your keyboard and it is gone. Also, you can see these grid lines are showing up from our bar chart. Click on any one of those and then hit your delete key. Uh, also, we have all of these uh, purple lines. Um, now, these purple lines, there's a couple things we want to do. One, to make sure, just in case there's any errors, we want to double click on these purple lines, which are from our bar chart. Click on fill and click on no fill to make sure that they don't show up and close that. Also, we want to go ahead and go in and delete our mock data for our bar chart. Just go ahead and hit delete or change it to zero, and that'll make sure that it gets um, out of the chart as well. Uh, that way, it is not going to show up um, anywhere uh, on our chart, even though we've also done it as no fill. So we've, uh, we're getting pretty close here. So you can see we've got best ever, pretty good, better. It's overlapping those numbers. We'll get rid of those in a second. Uh, you also want to get rid of the Series 4 over in your legend by selecting your legend, selecting the Series 4 in the legend, that legend entry, and hitting your delete key. And then finally, um, the last thing that we really need to do is we need to get rid of those numbers, our original numbers. Now to do that, select your chart um, and uh, uh, go up to your layout ribbon in the current selection box over on the left. We want to choose radar value axis. So the radar axis, the values in there. Click on that and you'll see one, two, three, four, five is highlighted. Um, and you can simply hit your delete key and they will go away. So we have uh, done something here that's pretty cool. So we've got letters associated to numbers for a radar chart that match up exactly with the positions of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, and within our chart. And uh, you too can do this. Just remember when you're creating this, you want to find your largest value within your data range for your radar chart and you want to select a range that includes not only your labels for zero, in this case zero to five, um, but you want to add an additional um, five to those uh, to make sure that you have the chart range um, created for long enough. Let me see if I can move that over there. So you'll notice that this is what's on our bar chart for the secondary axis. It has those six values for zero to five, and we have an additional five blanks 
um, for the values down below. I guess you could put text in there if you really wanted of doing not good, just okay, and kind of replicating those down. Uh, probably not best practice um, that I've seen in any kind of radar chart, but then again, words are, isn't typically, aren't typically uh, best practice either in radar charts, but it is a technique that you can use to full Excel uh, using an overlaid bar chart on top of a radar chart to get those text values. Hopefully you liked this chart. Uh, if you have any awesome suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below and we'll see if we can tackle those in the future. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.